You're welcome back to this class. Let's start the second method, which is standard price. Standard price is a predetermined price fixed on the basis of a specification of a product or service and of all factors affecting the price. Under this method, a predetermined price will be used in pricing out all the inventory on the basis of data factors. Now, what we are saying here is that when we want to use a standard price method, there must be a predetermined price. How then after considering all the factors that can affect the price, then the next one is that you now need to fix a predetermined price. If you look at this illustration now, they set two standard price method using Thierry Naira as the standard price. Now, when you look at this method, it, it enhances comparison between the actual price and the standard price of an event. And then if there is a uh, variance, definitely the variance will now be transferred to the various accounts. Now, let's look at the illustration. You know, the following ledgers accounts were compiled from the transaction of Joseph PLC for the month of December. We have the transaction which is from December 1 to December 28. Then we, are, uh, we want to value the closing inventory by using standard price method. Now, let's start one after the other. The first transaction here is December 1. So what? We have December 1. They received 300 units at a price of 2 Naira. 300 times 2, that have the same as the 600 Naira. So on that same day, there is nothing like issue. Then we go to have uh, 300 units under the quantity, then 600 Naira under the value. That is for the first uh, of December. Now, here we have December 10. They received additional 200 units. Okay, now let's come back to this side. We have December 10, December 10, and then they receive 200 units, 200 units, and then the price of 3 Naira, 200 times 3, that have the same amount of 600, no issue on that day. So we're going to have 200 units plus 300 units, that have the same as 500 units. Then 600 Naira plus 600 Naira, that same as 1,200. Now, the next thing here is December 15. They issued out 200 units. Are we now? They issued out 200 units. Now, let's look at this. We have December 15. December 15, they issued 200 units. And then, when you look at this now, the next thing is to assign the price. But since we are dealing with the standard price method, and then they said using 3 Naira as the standard price. I will announce so definitely we are going to consider three naira when when the issue out inventory. So now what we are saying here is that the price will be three naira. So two hundred times three that will be the same as six hundred naira. So two hundred units minus five hundred units. You know when the issue out both quantity and the value of inventory in the store will reduce. So definitely 200 minus 500, that is the same as the 300. Then 600 minus it from 1,000 to then we have 600 as well. Now, let's move to the next transaction, which is December 18. They received an additional 150 units. Are we now? So we have December 18. December 18. They received 150 units. We have 150 units at a price of 3.5. Now, let's value this. That is 150 multiplied by 3.5. Then we are going to have 525 naira. So we have 525 naira. Then there is no issue on that same day. Then what you have in the balance? You know, when they received uh, inventory, the balance in the store we increase. Definitely, we are going to have 150 and then 300 units. That is 150 units plus 300 units. That will be the same as a 450. So we have 450 units under the quantity that. Then we need to have 525 
plus 600, that will be same as a 1,125. So we have 1,125. All right, now, let's go to the next transaction, which is December 20. They received an additional 250 units. So we have December 20, December 20, they received an additional 250 units, then we have 250 units, with the price of a 2.5. I will have, so we have 2.5. Now, multiply 250 by 2.5, 2, we are going to have 625 Naira. So we have 625 Naira. You know, there is no issue on that simply. Then, balance now. The balance of inventory, both in quantity and the value, will still increase. By adding 250 plus 450 units, that will be 700 units. 700 units. Now, the value now, under the value, we need to have 625 plus 1125. You know, that is the same as 1750. So we have 1750. Now, let's move to the next one, which is the second to the last. December 22, they issued 150 units. Now, we have December 22, December 22, they issued 150 units, then we have 150 units. Now, remember that we need to assign price, and then the price is 3 Naira, which is the standard price, our predetermined price, which is 3 Naira. So, we are going to assign 3 Naira here. So now, 150 multiplied by 3 Naira, that will be same as a 450. So, the value is 450. Now, when they issue out, the balance, both in quantity and the value, will reduce. So now, 150 minus it from 700, we are going to have 550 units. 550 units. Then, let's look at the value. That is 450 minus it from uh, 1750. We are going to have 1,300 under the value. So we have 1,300. Then the last transaction here is December 28. They issued 100 units. Okay, now let's look at this. We have December 28. They issued 100 units with the standard price of 3 naira. Then we have 3 naira. You know, the value here will be 100 multiplied by 3. That will be same as the 300 naira. Now, under the balance, you know, we are going to minus 100 from 550. Then we have 450 units. Now, let's look at the value, which is 300 naira minus 1300. Then the value will be uh, 1000 naira. Now, looking at this second method, let's compare it with that of the weighted average vector. You will see that when we value our inventory by using weighted average vector, the value of closing inventory is higher than that of the uh, standard price method. This is where we are going to stop for today. Always remember to like our page on Facebook, watch our videos, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.